Hi, I'm Mayuri Saikya. I head marketing at Dell for the consumer, the CSB and the retail segment. Uh, very nice to be here with you all today. To set the context, right, marketing as a function has evolved and is now a critical management function. Like as marketers, we are the custodians of the brand uh, and we work, uh, what we do is uh, to make sure that we create more brand value. So Dell technology is a legacy brand and it leads with purpose and innovation. So we will believe in creating technologies that drive human progress and our customers are at the core of all that what we do. So it's a, it's so it extends to marketing initiatives. So it is very crucial to understand what our customers want. And once that is in place, everything falls in place. So it is always customer first. Marketing, uh, marketing uh, initiatives, however effective, are, can only be successful only if it is in line with the brand vision and the company objective. Marketing is an independent function, but it does not mean that we are not sticking to our brand vision and our company objectives. So independence means that it's an opportunity to be creative, to find newer ideas, build new campaigns that create brand loyalty, but at the same time, retain the essence of your brand and what it stands for. Independence al allows us to be very effective storytellers, how we can break the clutter because consumers are being bombarded with so much of content nowadays. And because it's a digital first market, so an independence, so independence means that we find the right messages which can be available in the right platform and then connect with the consumers in a much deeper way. So the human connection is extremely, extremely important. So data and insights uh, and any customer feedback, right? We as, a, as an organization, we're constantly taking customer feedback. So before we start building any new campaign, it is very, very essential that we know our consumers first and we know the insights. And that means that we tap into their moments. So I will just give you an example of a latest back to school campaign and where students is, as, is a core audience. So when we know that our students are core, core audience, whether they're school students or college students, uh, we, we have identified that today's students believe in converting their learning into something meaningful and they have the and then then that became the larger message for us right so they not not only use technology and the laptop uh, for their school studies or college studies they're using it for their passion and then whatever they're studying they're learning they're putting it into great use the other one where the data also becomes important is that when we are working on such content we make sure that we also look into the seasons. For example, when we launched this back to school campaign, uh, we knew that IPL is going to be there. It is going to be, uh, uh, it's, it's going to coincide exactly at the same time. And India, we know that everyone is so passionate about uh, cricket. So the campaign through the brand films, it appeals directly to the large cricket fan base, which also coincides with the audience we want to target through the campaign. So we have got that cricket angle so that consumers can connect it better. Similarly, when we had the last year uh, festival campaign, uh, which we announced, and that was the Apnawala festival, we captured this little moments, right? We captured the pulse of the new generation because today there are unique ways of celebrating festivals. It's not necessary that we're celebrating only with large families. There can be smaller families. You can be celebrating with your best of friends, but we all may have a unique way of celebration. So these small yet relevant insights can become the backbone of a great campaign today. So it is all about being omnipresent and creating customized content, right? It is again, as I mentioned, it's a digital first world. Consumers are engaging with brands directly. And so it's very, very essential for the brand to be present where the consumers are. And then to be present in a way so that in that particular platform, the consumers can completely connect to that particular content. So 
in a plethora of engagement platforms, how do we choose the right one? That's a big question mark. So this is where the marketing teams rely uh, hugely on data. So creating global standards, putting in place a robust system and helping us understand what works and what our audience is not interested in is very, very critical. So being a global brand, we also have learnings from other markets. We constantly uh, exchange best practices, ideas, what we are doing with one another and so that we all can pick up the best practices and replicate in our country as well. I think a lot of independence comes when there is a sense of pride uh, working with a brand and ownership to lead and drive things. When we feel that we are connected, we naturally become brand custodians. And brand custodians are just not the marketing team, right? It's each and every member of the brand uh, who is a brand custodian. So collaboration is key for building any marketing campaign and marketing teams cannot work in silos. They have to work together. You know, so when we do brainstorming uh, across uh, different functions uh, within the organization, it can be the sales team, the product team, or any other team who is there, the brainstorming and focus group discussions becomes an essential part to create the best of content. And it's not only the internal team, there is a huge collaboration which happens with our agency partners. And, and while and at Dell, what we do is not just that the creative team is working on it, but when we're working on concepts, the media teams, the PR team, uh, the digital agencies who are specialized, uh, then our ETL partners, everybody comes in together so that they can all share because they all are experts in their own area. And when all this comes together, that's when the magic happens. So then the, then the engagement, what we get from the campaign is immense. As a global brand, we also have teams across the globe, as I already mentioned, that we share best practices. So if there is something great, we all localize it for the region as well. So we are truly global in nature. So we bring in the innovative ideas, we integrate them into like localized failed flavors to create a much, much stronger impact. In fact, today morning when I was saying that I had an early morning call, it was again sharing one of the best practice for India, which we shared with across the globe so that they want to pick it up, they can pick it up what we have done here because it's one team working. Also, the leaders and the senior executives are, are be, becomes a very important piece of the puzzle. Their engagement with internal as well as external stakeholders sets the tone and drives brand messages. So there is a lot of conversation which we do internally, but at the same time, all the leaders and senior executives, wherever, whichever function they are in, we make sure that we all speak to external teams, get more ideas, think about it, and, and, and sometimes it's not just about communication, right? We need to get the products together. We need to get the experience together. So a lot of teams will have to work together. So anything can become successful only when we do it 360 degree. And 360 degree is not just about communications 360 degree, but also experience 360 degree, which, can be, which will also include our retail stores. So if you look at it, the current campaign of back to school or even our gaming campaigns, what we do, we are making sure that the experience there is there at retail as well, which means that all the teams needs to work together. So independent marketers work very closely with product, sales and experience teams to enable a very seamless execution. And that's what I think makes us very successful. Marketers understand the nuances, but the great ideas can come in from anywhere. Uh, moving to SWOT analysis, uh, marketers must stay ahead of all the new trends, new moments, new conversations, and ensure that the brand stays relevant in a very fast-paced world, right? And when we have our the youth as our audience, it is except, it's, it's very, very important that we keep doing something new. So in a digital world, Customers are highly engaged and want content that is relevant and resonates to resonates well with them. So, in fact, customers today not only want brands that give us great product or services, right? They also want brands that are purpose driven. Customers are ready; they're ready to actually uh, pay more for socially aware and conscious brands. Like I have got 
my two daughters and they constantly keep saying that okay mom this is a the, the this brand is so good because they are doing some great stuff uh, for the society i think that is what our consumers are, are today right the spirit of creating meaningful impact on the society is celebrated in our latest campaign which is back to school where we got the csr initiative called the doing good series we have understood that it's not just about the product or the service and communication it is doing something more for the society so through this doing good series initiative we have collaborated with schools ngos student influencers radio partners to drive more awareness and create a more positive impact so the uh, so the emergence of ai right and uh, ai enabled chatbots have also brought about a lot of transformation in the way brands are keeping customers engaged nowadays so it has enabled brands to reach out resolve customers queries faster improve the overall experience because great brands is about also being the great experience from where they buy how they buy it and also after buying it that we stay connected to our customers so the da data derived from these tools right also helps us brands uh, drive more meaningful campaigns so the the challenge is that most marketers face is how to create campaigns that are bigger and more hard hitting uh, than the last one right and creating campaigns that deliver the right story takes immense hard work across functions across multiple stakeholders who are building the campaign and every milestone what we achieve becomes a base for the next quarter right so we work almost like quarter wise we think long term but it's also important that we are there now because platforms are ever changing it has become the most dynamic in nature so it's extremely important to understand what is new how do we get to the next level so this is an exciting challenge which keeps marketers on the toes and i love it you know being thinking what is next so lastly i would like to conclude by saying that as a brand we are obsessed uh, and we are always customer first and once that perspective becomes a part of the process and every team member in in my team my extended team when we think about customer first we feel more confident to deliver exciting stories and that's how we have been able to uh, stay as the most trusted brand as the most desired brand in the country uh, and and uh, we keep on you know we keep hoping that we deliver something great every time we come with a campaign or any kind of communication or any experience thank you